what's going on everybody and welcome to the breath first search algorithm in C++. In this video we'll be discussing what BFS algorithm is and how it can be used to solve problems. We'll also go through an example problem and see how we can implement the breath first search algorithm to solve it or BFS. The breath first search algorithm is a graph traversal algorithm that starts at a given vertex and explores all its neighbors at the current depth before moving on to the next level. It is typically used to find the shortest path or the minimum number of steps required to reach a target node in an unweighted graph or tree. Let's consider a simple example problem. Given an unweighted graph with n vertices and m edges find the shortest path from a source vertex to a target vertex. To solve this problem using the BFS algorithm, we can start at the source vertex and explore all its neighbors at the current depth before moving on to the next level. We can keep track of the visited vertices and the distance from the source vertex using two arrays, visited and distance. We can implement this approach using a queue data structures as followed. The time complexity of the BFS algorithm is O of M plus N, in this case where M is the number of edges and N is the number of vertices in the graph. This is because we visit each vertex and edge at most once. Although this approach works for small inputs, it may not be practical for larger inputs. In this video, we discuss breadth first search algorithm and how it can be used to solve problems. We also went through an example problem and saw how we implemented the BFS algorithm to solve it. The BFS algorithm is a powerful graph traversal algorithm that can be used to find the shortest path or the minimum number of steps required to reach a target node in an unweighted graph or tree. If you learned something new, like the video, I will leave a link in the description for some algorithm problems that you can solve using this breadth first search and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Peace.